Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial. Today we're gonna create this cool little animation in Adobe XD, this on and off switch animation in Adobe XD um, using auto animate. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So I have these two squares which I've laid out next to each other, which are basically rotated and it says on and one says off. So the first step is to, first step is to uh, click on the pen tool here and I'm gonna create four points. One, two, three, and four. And one last one across here. So uh, this will act like the border. I'm just gonna give this an appropriate width, four, four pixels or maybe eight pixels, whatever you feel is correct. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the width so that it, you know, it's around it. And I'm gonna give this this green little tint, which I've already saved. By the way, I will be linking down in the description the file, the Adobe XD file, so that you can get started quickly. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in close and just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna select this line. I'm gonna add three anchor points close to each other. One, two, and three. I'm gonna select these anchor points, all of these three anchor points, and I'm gonna bring them much closer to this one last anchor point. Just gonna, okay, yeah, that's done. Now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this again uh, I'm going to just zoom out and I'm going to duplicate this artboard. Just say Command D or Control D. Duplicating this artboard is easy. And on the next artboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all four of these anchor points at the end and I'm going to bring them closer to the edge of this square, just straight. Make sure it's uh, straight, it's not tilted or anything. And I'm going to also bring this one last anchor point here. Perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate this artboard again. So we have something like this. And here, what I'm going to do is now, uh, I'm going to select uh, three of the last anchor points and I'm going to leave one anchor point here, like this. So that one portion of the anchor point I can drag and I'm bringing it right here. Hmm, that seems all right. And I'm going to bring this anchor point by just selecting both of these anchor points and I'm just gonna bring it right here. Perfect. I'm gonna duplicate this artboard and I'm gonna move on again, do something similar to what we did last time and I'm gonna select uh, two of these anchor points. Let's see if this works. Uh, okay. Okay, so select two of uh, these anchor points uh, the last anchor points will do. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna bring this, just drag these over to this one edge. Yeah, perfect. And I'm gonna bring these anchor points, I'm just, just gonna drag and select all of these and I'm just gonna bring this anchor point here. Perfect. You see how it's coming into play? I'm gonna double click on this artboard and Command D or Control D to duplicate it again, one last time. And I'm gonna, uh, just gonna drag this and just select one of these anchor points. So the last one is probably the one we're gonna, we're gonna drag. No, okay, I was wrong. Um, this is the one we're gonna drag. Wait, wait, okay. So I think I messed up a little bit here, but I'm just gonna duplicate this again. I'm gonna select one of these anchor points, which is probably this one, yeah, wait. Hmm. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought. I'm just gonna select this one anchor point. Yeah, okay, now it's coming into play. I'm just gonna bring this to the edge right about here. And I'm gonna bring these anchor points closer, which is right about here. Now this creates a cool little square. And that's it, that is all we had to do. I'm just gonna make sure that the opacity of this is reduced to about 50% so that it seems uh, deactivated. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna simply gonna copy these artboards, just select all and just while I select option or alt on Windows, I will drag them and just drag them down. So I copy all of these here. 
Uh, now here I'm gonna change the color of this line uh, everywhere here. One, two, three, and four. Uh, I'm gonna make them this plain gray. And here, as you can see, it's already green. So that's perfect. Now I'm gonna quickly prototype and bring the magic to life. So I'm gonna click on this off and drag the prototype key here. I'm gonna say tap and auto animate. And I'm gonna say wind up to give it that little wind up effect in 0.2 seconds. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is select the artboard, the entire artboard and click on this. And I'm gonna drag this across. I'm gonna say time rather than saying tap, say time, zero second delay and uh, auto animate. Wind up, I'm gonna change it to ease out and 0.2 seconds, I'm gonna keep the same. And with all these outboards, I'm gonna do the same time, ease out 0.2 seconds, auto animate. Perfect, till the last one. And now I'm gonna select this on button to reverse the effect. I'm gonna say wind up here again and tap. And here again, I'm gonna say uh, ease out time zero seconds. Perfect, we're going on the right track here and it's almost done. Perfect. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna drag it here. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate the preview mode and I'm gonna click on the off button and hopefully, yeah, there we have it. On, off, on, off. I hope you liked that video. This was a quick little tutorial. I will link down in the description the file, the XD file. I hope you liked this video. Uh, go ahead and thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out uh, creating these awesome videos for you guys. And also click the bell icon. Just smash the bell icon so that you get the notifications when I post it and um, you will be the first one to watch my videos then. And also comment down in the description what you wanna, down in the comments, sorry, uh, what you wanna watch next. And also keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and I'll see you guys next week in Design Weekly. Uh, export for iOS or Android, you just have to drag this uh, drag the mouse over whichever element you want to save. You want to say file, export, selected, and here you get a couple of options. Select PNG, and here you see iOS and Android. Android you can save up to 400%, so you get different folders with different uh, DPIs. And on iOS you can save 1x, 2x, or 3x. Um, one of my subscribers asked me that question, so I'm just fulfilling that request. Uh, just like this, you can ask me whatever you want and I will answer uh, these questions uh, in further videos. I hope that answered your question and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.